Hey folks, this is Mike Garner with FBAMaster.com and I am attempting to make my first video. Maybe my last video, we'll see how this goes. But I came across Nate McAllister's new extension. It's the Storefront Stalker. And I could just tell from the beginning that it had game-changing potential. When he was selling it at $24.99, I told people they should buy it. I made no commission or affiliate revenue from that. When those first hundred sold out and it went to $39.99, I told people, hey, you should buy this. I did make an affiliate commission on that. And now at $49.99, I'm telling you, hey, folks, you should buy this. And I will, again, make affiliate commission if you go through me. If you don't like me, you like Nate better, that's fine. Go find his Gumroad, download it. I won't get a penny. That's fine. But if you found this video helpful, then I'll have the link to our account, and you guys can go through that. But this price is not going down. In fact, I've told people before, and I'll make the same promise to you guys, if for some reason Nate does lower the price, in let's say before the end of the year, I will cover the difference. So if you pay $49.99 right now, and he drops it back down to $24.99, I'll, I'll send you $25. I, I know that's not going to happen. In fact, it looks like he's going to raise it uh, after this third wave again. But just in case, if that is an issue for you, I will cover that should that happen. So let's uh, go through this and look at how it works. Basically, you find another seller's storefront, and that's really easy to do. You, you can look at items that you're on and look at who your competition is and just click on their name, and it'll bring up something like this. It's important to know that the extension only works for the first 2,400 items. Right now, that's Amazon's cap for scraping data. And so if they have more than 2,400, you're only going to get the first 2,400. This seller only has 1,100, so we don't have any issues here. I come over here to one of my dozen or so extensions, and I run the all ASIN from this seller. It took about 20 seconds or so, and it scanned all 47 of these pages and gave me a download. Right now, there's currently a bug where when you download the file, you load it as a CSV into OAX3, it's only showing you the storefront's prices and Amazon's prices. But that's not really what we want, right? We want to find out where our competitors are getting their products and how much they cost at those locations and whether it would be profitable for us. So by itself, this is not particularly helpful. I could probably figure out a way to make money with it, but better yet is just this easy workaround. Uh, you open it up and initially it will have four columns here. This C column will have like a low price and D column will have a link. Well, I just highlight both of them, delete it all, and then download the file as a CSV. And so now I have a file that OAX Ray can use and it will give me all the stores. So I did that here. I came to load CSV. I loaded it. It took a couple minutes. Remember, this is going through 1,100 items. So I put it there. Uh, I went and got a drink, came back, and now I'm ready to go. I clicked positive ROI and it left me with, say, 50 items or so here that OA X-Ray thinks might potentially be profitable. Now remember, these are another seller and they don't always make the same choice as I would. So for example, this top one is a kitchen item that's ranked 666,000. I would never sell that and I'm not interested in that. Other times there will be mistakes like mismatches. So not all of these are going to work for you, but if you go through it, you can find some great deals. So I started coming through and I was doing a Walmart shipment, so I'm really just focusing on these items from Walmart. Obviously, I could have checked these Kmart ones or whatever, but since I'm doing a Walmart order, this is what I was focusing on. And uh, this Neutrogena one was a mismatch, but this Avia Heal Relief uh, option looked like it might be good, so I opened up a Walmart and a Amazon tab. Walmart came up. Prices just dropped. It was at $14.97. Now it's down to $9.97. Uh, let's make sure that it's the same item. So we got a size 6 to 10 women's Avia heel relief. Okay. So we came over to Amazon. It's this women's size 6 to 10 
uh, via Hill Relief, level 3, I checked that earlier, it is level 3, so this is the same item. It was $9.97 on Walmart, $24.14, I can already tell you that this is going to be profitable, but before we do the exact calculations, let's uh, check the chart. We have Keepa here, if you're not familiar with Keepa, this is this extension is crucial it's free go download it but we see that the price used to sell for more remember these uh purple prices are without shipping so it was selling for over 30 dollars but when it was doing so it was about 200 000 in health which in health and personal care is not terrible but it's also not anything to write home about so i wouldn't have loved that but as the prices come down to our 24 15 mark well now we see sales ranks 50,000 70,000 etc currently we're at 73,000 this is more than fine for me when I'm selling in health and personal care so I, what I want to do is I want to run my fee calculator 2414 is the FBA price I'm not really interested in what that merchant fulfill seller is selling it for I could get it at 997 and this basically weighs nothing I could throw it in any box and it wouldn't change much but I always figure at minimum 25 cents per item shipping. So I run all that and I could make $7.26 per unit on this 9.97 item. So that's 73% ROI. For me, this is a clear and easy buy. I would definitely be adding this to my Walmart cart. It's only letting me purchase two, I would get two. And if I were at Walmart, I would make sure to check this out because this is a pretty simple buy for me. Since I'm online, I'll save some money with Ebates or whatever the best cashback option is at the moment. But that would be a buy. So then I come back and I scroll down a little bit more. And the next thing I see are these Dickies socks. And there's actually a few different options here. We got Dickies here, Dickies here, Dickies here. Uh, so I open up a few of those. The first one I have here is this black and gray. Size 6 to 12, 777. Let's check Amazon. All right, black and gray, 6 to 12. Price 1865. So there's some potential here, not a ton, but let's have a look. Okay, one thing to note this item does not have uh, ranking data. That'll happen sometimes. If we look historically, uh, Amazon did track it for a while, and when they did, it was somewhere in the 20,000 range. Not, not too bad for clothing, but lately it hasn't been tracked at all. Uh, one trick, if you guys don't know, that you can use to try to estimate sales is come look at their most recent reviews. And what do we have here? Something from four days ago, 13 days ago, 19 days ago, a month ago, a month ago, etc. Now remember, not every seller who buys something is leaving a product review maybe two percent are so for every every review you see that might represent 50 sales uh, let's see one two three at bare minimum three or four of these in the last month i mean this is probably selling a couple hundred but at bare minimum i would say that this is selling 60 a month i come back here let's uh run our calculations on it 865 or 1865 777 which would be our purchase price at 0.85 pounds that's going to cost me about a quarter to ship but leaving some leeway is 40 cents okay three dollars and 19 cents on a 777 just off the top of my head that's probably something like 40 percent return on investment i guess we could figure that out 41 percent return on investment so this is not a slam dunk and in fact some people who always want 100 percent or more return on investment they're going to pass on this for me i'm already buying from walmart i'm already in walmart all the time if i can get a few of these let's say five units to test it out that's 15 dollars in profit for me doing no extra work, I'm already making a cart for Walmart. I'm already in Walmart picking up my replans. It's not any extra work to throw five or 10 of these in my cart. So if I can make an extra 15 or 30 bucks, I'm going to do that. Now, if you have very limited sourcing funds and those dollars could be better spent on something else, sure, pass this up. But for me, this would be a buy.
And let's check on the other socks that we ran into. These are basically the same thing, but these are white and gray. Same thing, five pack, 777. Come on over to Amazon, what do we see? Selling for barely more than the other socks. Uh, about the same price point, same sales history. And this one's 25,000 in clothing also. So again, these are not slam dunks, but if I can make an extra $30 from these and an extra $30 from the black ones every time I happen to go into Walmart, this is something that I'm happy to do. And this might actually be a replenishable opportunity because Walmart's always selling these Dickie socks. I've seen them a dozen times while I was there. I just never happened to scan them. Uh, it looks like Walmart normally charges $8.77, but they've been $7.77 for a while now. I think there are some replenishable opportunities here, so I would definitely test both of these. Maybe just a couple, but I would probably buy at least five in each color. So I'm not going to go any further down this list. There, there are more items here, but the point is to give you an example of how this could work for you. So I took one seller. Remember, there are hundreds of thousands of sellers. I took one of them. I ran this through OAX Ray, and a few minutes later, I have a list of products that are potentially profitable. And, and from that, uh, at least these top three, I could make, well, we said we were going to make about $7 on these. Walmart will only let me buy two. There's $14. I think I can make $30 from the black and $30 from the white. So that's $30, $60, $74. Let's call it $75. What was Nate selling this for? Nate selling it for $50. So basically we paid for this extension, maybe even made enough to go get some dinner. And I've spent 15, 20 minutes doing this. So I really do think that this is a game changer. I've never made a video before. Nate didn't ask me to make a video before and there are tons of products out there that are really good. Chris Wilkie just released a textbook arbitrage extension the other day. People are talking about how they're making $100, $200 their first night. That's fantastic. There are a lot of great apps out there, but I really did feel like this extension has the potential to be a game changer. And so if you guys are at all interested, I would really get going as soon as possible because like I said, I don't think Nate is going to go down in price, at least not anytime soon. In fact, I can tell you he has talked about for new members changing it to a monthly subscription and that will definitely cost more. So if you are interested, you missed it at 24, you missed it at 39, I would definitely hop on now and start using this to increase your sales. Have a good night, folks, and have a good weekend. Take care.